Wow. Look at this. Been waiting a while for this one. Sick. You know what this is? The Sabotage in LibTech Dang Hard to Dang Construction. Yeah. Been pushing LibTech to do this one for a while. I shaped up, I think, four, three or four sizes about a year ago, year and a half ago. Made some masters kind of based off of all the sabotages that my friends and I and have been writing for the last few years in pumping waves. Um, this is the smallest one, 6.2 by 20, 2 and 5 eighths, 35 liters, nice tapered down rails, this is a knife in, super low entry up front, plenty of volume to fly down the line, get into waves early. Paddle machine up here, low entry. And then the tail, nice and pulled in. Control your speed. You can hold a nice line on steep hollow waves with lots of tail rocker. Lots of kick in the tail to keep it loose. Still do turns and maneuvers. Big down carves or snap under the lip. Able to stall, you know, kind of stall it in the barrel. Really balanced board. Forward outline, wide points a little forward, pulled in through the tail, but not too narrow where your back foot is. Just gets really narrow in the last you know, six inches, they'll hold in. But here you still have a little bit of a platform to stand on. Um, really domed deck. You see the deck, nice and thick here, two and five eighths, like whoa, for paddling, for drive. But then the deck's really rolled down, nice and low on the perimeter, so you can knife it in. You know, doesn't feel quirky on the wave. Decent amount of weight on it. You know, uh, the LibTech construction's gotten lighter and lighter and lighter. We have a whole new core that's definitely more light and better for performance surfing. But with this, this particular model, we want to keep a little bit of weight in it. So it's glass stronger with the new light core, but glass stronger. So it's got a nice shell on it. Um, puts up with all the abuse of, you know, traveling, bigger waves, heavy wipeouts, banging around on boats or cars, planes, trains, automobiles. Um, but also leaving a little weight in is also a design thing. You know, like we've learned from the last, from decades is having some more weight in your guns or your step ups. It gives you momentum into waves, gives you drive, um, stays down in the water in high speeds with like kind of warbles and a lot of like liveliness on the wave face. And it even stays stable in the tube, especially if you get like a foam ball, kind of, you know, the good surfers, foam balls lifting up, moving the board. Whoa, whoa, the, the weight kind of holds you down. Um, I think they paddle into big waves better too, a heavier board, especially with offshores. So yeah, it's strong. I mean, you could literally take this thing on a surf trip without a board bag. Not that you would, but you could. Um, yeah. Really similar to what some of our top guys are riding as well. Like Yago and Griffin pretty much ride these things exclusive at sunset. Um, Margaret River, they both rode Sabotage and loved them. Did Great surfing there. Um, but, you know, all pros aside, it's a really good user friendly step up board for, you know, an everyday surfer, for us normal human beings. It's a, it just does, it ticks all the boxes. Have board, we'll travel. You could go to a place like the Menawais or, you know, Indonesia and, really just get away with this one board. Because of the five fin placement, you know, small playful waves, you could, you could use it as a thruster with small, small template, because it's a narrow tail, you use it one size down on the template, you could move them forward a little bit, make it more playful, it allows you to stand more forward and have a looser, more planing area under your foot. You can set it up as a quad for driving down the line, drawing long lines coming out of tubes or you can slide the thruster fins back, use bigger fins and use it for big, solid, like wonky, wobbly, 
heavy water carving. So, you know, even the, the ability to move the fins around and go from three fins to five fins, or smaller fins gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of options. It gives the board a lot of range. But for the hardworking guy who saves up all year to go on an amazing surf trip, this is a board that they can invest in and it's gonna last and it's gonna give back time after time.